Zebra, what are you doing? I'm hacking. What are you hacking? Windows. Every MAC address in the world is unique. That means that I or someone else can identify your computer based on the MAC address of your network interface card. So if you want to hide your tracks, if you want to be anonymous, you're going to want to change your MAC address. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change MAC addresses. MAC addresses are unique identifiers of a network interface cards in computers. Every MAC address, in theory, is unique throughout the world. I say in theory because there have been cases where there have been duplicate MAC addresses created. But in general, every MAC address in the world is unique. That means I can identify your computer or someone can identify your computer based on its MAC address. Now, before we continue, you need to help me with the robots. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please consider liking this video and please click on the bell to get notifications or do one of those. That really helps me with the YouTube robots or the YouTube algorithm. In this example, I've got a Windows laptop. I've got two network interface cards on this laptop. One is a physical ethernet connection and it also has a built-in wireless network adapter. So we'll change the MAC address of this physical ethernet adapter first and I'll show you the change on this ethernet switch and then I'll show you how to configure the wireless adapter. The ethernet adapters are very easy. I can change that MAC address through the GUI. Wireless adapter is a little bit more complicated. I'll have to change that through the registry. Now I've also added this document below this video. Feel free to download it. It shows you step-by-step step how to make these changes. So if you wanna keep this as a reference for later, then feel free to download this document. If you're doing ethical hacking, I don't recommend black hat hacking, but if you're doing ethical hacking and you wanna hide your MAC address, this is a simple way to change the MAC address of your Windows computer. There are other reasons, as an example, on networks such as wireless networks, some people implement MAC address filtering. So they'll only allow certain MAC addresses onto the network. You can bypass that very easily by simply changing the MAC address of your Windows computer. On physical ethernet connections, network administrators can implement port security where they only allow certain MAC addresses onto the network. So any traffic or frames sent from unknown MAC addresses will be denied or the port will be shut down. So you will need to set your MAC address to a permitted MAC address to bypass port security. Very easy once again to do that on a Windows computer. Now, something that you'll probably come across very often, you go to the airport or you go to a place that has free Wi-Fi, they limit you to let's say 30 minutes. How do they do that? Typically it's done on MAC address. So they'll say this MAC address gets access for 30 minutes. Now what happens if you want to continue surfing for more than 30 minutes or the time limit that they have? All you need to do in a lot of cases is change the MAC address of your computer. Once you've changed the MAC address of your computer, you can now continue accessing the internet for another 30 minutes. Now, as always, the information that I'm sharing here, use for ethical purposes only. I don't recommend that you go and bypass the restrictions at airports. I don't recommend that you bypass network restrictions and break into networks. But you need to know this stuff because this is how people bypass the security mechanisms that companies have implemented. So make sure that you know what hackers do. Make sure that you know what people get up to so that you can stop them doing that. You need to be aware of the loopholes and the problems so that you can secure your network. Okay, so let's get started and I'll show you two methods to change the MAC address of a Windows computer. Now in this example, I'm controlling the Windows computer using VNC. So I'm recording on my Mac just to make it easier, but I'm controlling that laptop using VNC. I've also connected to the Cisco switch using a USB cable. So my Mac over here is connected to the Cisco switch using a USB console cable. That just allows me to control the switch so that we can see what's going on. And I'm also controlling the Windows computer using VNC. 
Okay, so let's start with the easy method first. Right click on the Windows Start menu. Go to Device Manager. Go to Network Adapters. This is my wireless network adapter. This is my USB gigabit ethernet adapter. So that's the one that I'm going to change first. I'm gonna change this ethernet network adapters MAC address first. Right click, go to properties. Go to advanced, go to network address. At the moment, this value is blank. But let's confirm what the MAC address is first. I'm gonna open up control panel, go to network and internet, network and sharing center, change adapter settings. I've got a whole bunch of adapters here. I've got a VMware adapter, I've got virtual box, I've got my wireless network adapter, but this is the USB network adapter that I wanna change the MAC address of. If I double click on that, go to details, I can see that this is the MAC address. Notice it ends in 011F. On the Cisco switch, now you don't need a Cisco switch to do this. I'm just showing you the output or results of changes. Your home router or your home switch would have output that is similar, as in it would learn the MAC address of your device. Ethernet uses MAC addresses, so physical Ethernet uses MAC addresses, and so does wireless. So your wireless router at home, as an example, or your physical Ethernet switch would learn MAC addresses like this. I'm gonna type show MAC address table dynamic to see dynamically learnt MAC addresses. As you can see, it's learnt this MAC address, which is the Realtek USB MAC address. So the switch has learnt the MAC address of the PC as follows. Okay, but we wanna change that. So again, under advanced network address, I'm simply gonna change this to some value like this 00112233 A MAC address contains 12 characters. These are hexadecimal characters, so 12 hex characters. So make sure that you type in 12 characters here and then click OK. That'll now change the MAC address of the PC. On my Cisco switch, the interface went down and then it came up again. So I'll type show MAC address table dynamic and what you'll notice is the MAC address learnt by the switch has changed. In other words, the PC has sent traffic into the network and the switch has learnt a new MAC address. The PC is connected on gigabit 01 on the switch and the switch has now learnt the new MAC address. But let's verify that on the PC. I'll go back to the network card, go to details, and as you can see, the MAC address has changed. So that's the easy way to do it, but not all network cards support doing that. So sometimes you have to go into the registry to change the MAC address. So to show you that, on my wireless network card, details, this is the current MAC address of the wireless adapter. So the easy method once again is to right click on the Windows Start menu, go to Device Manager, go to the Network Adapter, right click on the Network Adapter, go to Properties, go to Advanced, and hopefully set the MAC address. In this example, I can see a whole bunch of wireless options, but I can't set the MAC address. So there's no option here to set a locally administered MAC address or address. So we can't do it this way. So it gets a little bit more complicated now, but I've once again given you this presentation which you can download and follow. Okay, so I'm gonna open up a command prompt and I'm gonna type get MAC to not only see a MAC address, but also see the transport name. You need to select the correct transport name. So going back to my wireless network adapter details, this is the MAC address of the wireless adapter, ends in 07B9. So that's this network adapter. This one over here is once again 
this network card. Now this method is once again a lot more difficult. You have to use the registry editor. So I'm gonna open the registry editor. Say yes to allow it to make changes. I need to navigate to a specific folder. I've once again added this presentation below this video so you can download this and get the details. But essentially I need to go to H key local machine system controller set 001, control class and then this crazy number. So let's start by going here. H key local machine system control set 01 control class. So this is currently where I am, which is correct per this information. I need to find this value, so 4D367. Now to make it simpler, I'm gonna copy this value and search for it and just make sure that I end up in the right folder. So I'm gonna right click, select find, paste that value in and click next. What it's done is it's filtered down to this folder, 4D36E972, which is this folder, ends in 0318. So that's the right folder. And what it did actually is it opened this subfolder. So just to show you the process again, went here, right click, find, pasted in the first part of the transport name from here using the get Mac command. Click find next. And what it's done is it's opened this subfolder. Now other people will tell you to go to this folder and then find the subfolder for your specific network card. I speeded this up by simply searching for the first part of my network adapter. You could go manually to a specific folder, but it's a lot quicker to let the machine do the finding and then to simply verify that it's correct. So 0003 is the correct network adapter. These folders are for various network adapters, but this is the one I want. Now the reason it found it is because this is the same value as the get Mac command. You should verify that and make sure that you're editing the right network adapter. So the value we're looking for is net CFG instance ID. So scrolling down here, net CFG instance ID, notice this number, and I'll just move that down slightly so we can verify it. That number, is the same as this number. You wanna make sure that net CFG instance ID, once again, is the same as this value displayed when you use the get Mac command for your specific network adapter. Just once again, make sure that you edit the right network adapter. Okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna right click in some white space here and create a new string of value. We're gonna call this network address. We wanna change the MAC address, so the network address. Right click, modify. Make sure that your spelling is good and then put in some MAC address. Now just a hint, sometimes you'll have problems where the MAC address fails. Use 26A or E as the second character in the MAC address if it fails. So second character, I'll make E here, and then I'll just specify some values. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Again, make sure that you've got the right number of characters. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Make sure that you've got the right number of characters. Make sure that this second character is either a two or a E or a A or an F if it fails, and click OK. So there's our new MAC address. Now all we need to do is go back to the network adapter and disable it. So once again, it's this Wi-Fi network adapter. I'm going to disable the network adapter. Now my VNC connection will fail, 
but I'm recording locally, so I'll still be able to capture this. So I'm gonna click disable to disable the network adapter. Might take it a while. Then I'm gonna double click on it to re-enable it. So the Wi-Fi connection is being enabled. I'll double click on the network adapter, go to details, and what you can see is the network adapter's MAC address has now changed. So I've successfully changed the MAC address of this device. I can verify that in my network by connecting to a physical router in my physical network. So if I type show ARP and search for this IP address, 192.168.142, this is my physical internet router. And as you can see, that IP address has this MAC address. So my physical infrastructure is seeing the new MAC address. And just to prove the point, let's change that MAC address again. So I'll go back into the registry editor, double click on this, and let's go in reverse. So 554433 click OK. MAC address is now changed. Right click disable. Double click to re-enable that network card. Double click again, go to details. You can see the MAC address has changed. On the real network show op, notice the MAC address has changed. The reason this route is once again seeing the changes is it's the default gateway to get to the internet and a Windows computer like this sends a lot of traffic into the network. So the ARP cache on the Cisco route is being updated. Okay, so I've shown you two ways to change the MAC address of a Windows computer, either doing it through a GUI interface, the easy way, or doing it through the registry. It's not that difficult, but you need to be careful once again, editing the registry, make sure that you edit the registry with lots of care. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, once again, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and please click on the bell to get notifications when I post a new video. I'm David Bombal, and I wanna wish you all the very best. I've been